to the testing. One, two, one, two. Power on. Board functioning at 100%. Microphone detected. Storage accessible and ready to receive content. Three, two, one. Welcome to Spectrum Talks. Hey! Hey, it's Spectrum Talk. It's another week. It's another day. It's another time. And on time, like always, we have Miss Sarah back with us here in the studio. And how are you today? I'm good. It's beautiful outside. I'm in a great mood. Yeah, fall is slowly getting here in Tennessee, and it's always a, a rejuvenating kind of time, even though the deadly winter's coming. You know? I know. It's you just... can feel it looming, but today is gorgeous. Absolutely. So, you know. Um, so yeah, here at On the Avenue, we work with ev- everybody who's on the spectrum, and we say we are all on the spectrum. Yep. Uh, tell us a bit, a bit, a bit about some of the programs that we have here, and, and the, the approach that we take to helping people find themselves along the way. Yeah, sure. So um, right now we're set on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. You know, um, a lot of people on the spectrum. Uh, a full week can be overwhelming. Um, you know, can be for everyone. Sometimes I wish it was just a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, but, um, so we, we run three days a week, um, and we kind of try to offer an array of lots of different things within the creative industry. We found that that's kind of a good spot for people in the spectrum to land, you know, um, they look at things with a really unique point of view and, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can express yourself within video, photography, creative writing, um, illustration, all kinds of stuff. So uh, we kind of try and do a little bit of everything. So um, you come in in the mornings. There are two classes in the mornings, um, and we usually give you a couple of options between things. Um, so you could choose like photography or creative writing class in one of your first class section, and then maybe your second is um, video editing and graphic design. Um, So you can kind of pick and choose based on what you're personally into. Um, And then we also do what we call an IABL, which is an individual assignment-based learning program. So we kind of believe that um, hands-on learning is really the best way to learn something new. especially when you're doing something like video editing or things like that. It's so much easier to get the hang of it if you can actually sit down with something that you're passionate about, that you've chosen, and just kind of play with things until you get it right. So um, a big part of our program is finding that kind of sweet spot for each person that comes in, what they're interested in, and helping them kind of hone in on that, um, get a project that they can get really excited about, and learn all of the different bits and pieces that go along with that. Um, And then we just do something fun in the afternoon. We'll do a little activity or, you know, maybe we can go on a field trip when all of this COVID nonsense is over. And And then like Monday nights, we have movie nights where we play a movie. And Wednesday night, like I've talked about before, we have the game night, which is just a big fun. Mm -hmm. Um, And then mornings, we kind of get everybody to get up and dance around and and do some activity. And then we have like a morning watch where we just kind of... Talk about, about, talk about something re- relative. Mm-hmm. Um, back to the IABLs. I think it's really cool because we we work with the citizens, and you know, so many times, so many of us are are so focused on going to school, getting a degree, and getting a job based yep. on that degree. But we're we're living in the the twentieth century, twenty first century now, and. We've got the internet. Not everybody has to go to school and has to do it that way. Mm-hmm. And, you know, before I came here, I spent over a decade making my money directly from the internet. So it was just me and the internet. Mm-hmm. And, and I made a really good living. And so I think it's cool because we can kind of help orchestrate the guys in a direction where maybe they can create their own YouTube channel or create some some kind of, you know, continual documentation that they can sell or advice or whatever. Yeah. Um, I know a couple of the guys have made three or four episodes that are really, really good. Yeah. You know, and we try to encourage it and try to figure help them with the writing and it and it covers everything. It's all the way from writing to execution yeah. of that and photography and, and graphics and all that. Um and then one of the students even got with his dad and they they started their own YouTube channel. I know, I love it. You know, and and it's pretty cool because he's doing it on his own. All you know, his dad's you know pushing him along, but nonetheless they're they're doing it. Yeah. And, so, and they've got ten thousand views so far and three or four, you know, hundred 
subscribers. So yeah, yeah, I think that's the cool part about it is um, a lot of times when you're in school, like I, th- I think I took a graphic design class <clears throat> when I was in school, and you know you learn the basics of it, and that's great. Um, you kind of get the foundation for it. But when you do a project like one of the IABLs, you have a hand in every single part of the process, which I think, you know, is the best way to learn something. You don't just get like that main bit that you can kind of hyper focus on, but you learn how to do it from the very beginning to the very end so that you can walk away and do that yourself one of these days once you kind of get the hang of it. And I think it's good for us too, because we're also trying to be cognizant of ways to, to help facilitate and teach people on the spectrum and hopefully we can have you know over time a given a given palette of information that we can pass on to other employers and say hey look if you have somebody on the spectrum it's not this way you should try possibly doing this this and this and you'll have somebody who can actually integrate into your company and be fulfilled and help fulfill your contract with them so um, it's neat trying different things around here to see what works and what doesn't work. Yeah, and, and you always do. I mean, everybody learns different. That's true of everybody everywhere. Um, but, you know, they always say if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. You know, um, you know there are definitely things that they have in common with each other, but they're all really different. And uh, I think one of the really cool things about our program is that we are relatively small and we kind of do that on purpose so that we can give very individualized atten- attention to everyone we have here. And um, I think I think it's really cool. I think that the guys are able, I mean, because the social aspect is almost as important I as agree, them learning how to do stuff. So they have like a really cool, tight knit friend group that they can hang out with. They and know, for most of them, that's the first, you know, they, exactly. they, they, you know, and so we were encouraging the after hours, don't, don't rely on us to say, uh-huh. Hey, go to the movies together. Mm-hmm. You know, you guys have phones, pick up the phone and then mm-hmm. figure out a way to get to the theater and watch a movie together, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so it was funny because yesterday we, Big John was sitting next to Rita for eight hours and they yeah. each were doing their own thing. And I was like, John, have you talked to her today? Well, no, I'm typing. I'm like, well, spend five minutes to get to know the person <laughs> exactly. sitting right next to you. you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, we definitely, the community, it's been really cool to see the community grow here. And, and they, it has been. They truly love one another and they look out for one another, which they is, really, is do. really cool. And then a couple, some of the citizens are actually assisting and look, teaching. Yeah. And I've noticed that, you know, sometimes, that's a lot it's taken in better you know yeah. for lack of a better word there's more of an understanding it's yeah. like hey you're autistic i'm autistic i'm gonna i'll understand that better than yeah. listening to Dieter blabber you know so, <laughs> definitely so true. sometimes it helps yeah in that so it, it's cool to see that some of the citizens are stepping forward and you know expressing their knowledge and what they've learned yeah it is cool i mean we've had some guys that have worked with us here for years um and to watch their journey from where they started to where they are right now is really just so awesome and kind of reminds you why we do this stuff absolutely and i can't wait to come back every morning and be here because it's just it's fulfilling it's right we just do it all over again yeah it's just (laughs) i don't really work i just have fun exactly well cool we'll make this short and we'll call it a day so thanks for coming and we'll talk to you soon yeah thanks for having me